Well, the weekend obviously is in full swing, and so is the NBA. Hey, thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. Here with my broadcast partners, Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Hart. And now we take a brief check at the matches. Our starting five for both teams. And as we take a look here at Glenn Davis, guys, what do you think? Well, Big Baby has that football build, 6'9", close to 300 pounds, but he's surprisingly light on his feet for such a big guy. And he's got a nice touch on that jump shot as well. Yeah, nice touch and good mobility and a lot like those tree trunk guys when he, he sets a screen. Good luck in getting through that. Wow. This crowd is really ready to roar in this Eastern Conference matchup for the Magic. The Heat beat them last time when these two teams met down in South Florida. So far, no luck against this team. They dropped both of the games in the previous two matchups this season. Yeah, they gave away a lot of points at the free throw line in that game. Maybe even... Oh! Defenders rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D. I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here. Because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. And that was Kia bringing you the close up on the big time club. Looking at the last game for Orlando, it was a loss to the Cavaliers in Cleveland. Well, there was a lack of discipline on their part in that game, guys. They committed a lot of silly fouls, and it hurt them. They sure did. I mean, they just didn't seem to figure out how to defend without fouling, Steve. That was just almost hard to comprehend. No one near him. It's Bosch that time on the assist by Krakic. Very well done. He is a confident, dynamic scorer. Price outside. Passes it to a float. Back to Price. He kicks to Davis. Rocket six. The turnaround Jay. And he kicks the bucket. Now here's Butler. He had a 21 point outing in their last game against Golden State. Boy, you look at Glenn Davis out of LSU, guys, and he might have made one heck of a left tackle in football. 6'9", close to 300 LBs. He's as strong as they come, and yet surprisingly as quick-footed as any big man in the league. Here's Price. Right now averaging seven points a game. A follow. That's good. Great job to hit his teammate on that move, Kevin. Well, he have gone two or three here to start out the game. And Glenn Davis, an improving rebounder in recent years, and Stevie uses his size well defensively. He's tough to back down. Barrel chest, strong legs. Offensively, he's not a guy who's going to the top, but he's crafty in the way he can go through bodies and you know, find ways to get the ball into the basket. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. I was able to speak with Jacques Vaughn for a moment. One player he said they can't overlook is Chris Bosch. He said Bosch is the perfect complementary scorer. He can hit the spot of Jay and also really crash the offensive boards. We simply can't get so caught up elsewhere that we allow him to have a big night. And Kevin at 6'11", Bosch really an anchor in that front court. When he plays well, they're tough to beat. All right, Doris, thanks. Free throw missing. <laughs> he hits the second from the line. Well, it was about midway through last season, guys, that we started hearing the rumors about Greg Oden working out and getting back in shape so he could make a return to the NBA. And lo and behold, here he is, the former Ohio State standout. The Heat trail by four. Butler with the ball. Now guarded by Price. Wide at the free throw line. Miami no good on that time either. Really high quality shot there. Just got a little off with his release. That miss right there will definitely leave him shaking his head. From deep a follow, that's good in its Price with the assist. Price has got his fourth assist in this one. And for Odin, a new start in the NBA, the former number one overall pick out of Ohio State back in 2007 for the Portland Trailblazers. Such a shame the repeated knee injuries that kept Odin from achieving all that he hoped for in Portland. But he just hoped that he would eventually.
eventually get a chance to return and come back. So it's nice to see him out on the floor. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Well, he's become one of the most dependable free throw shooters around, about 82% on the year. And you know, with those numbers, he makes a defender hesitant to get too tight on him. I mean, he doesn't want to get whistled for the foul and put this guy on the line. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Price. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs. Yeah, I like that. A foul to save the layup. Make him earn it at the line. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Well, pretty average numbers for him from the foul line, shooting about 75%. And, guys, that's an increase in his free throw percentage um, from last year. Uh, maybe not a large one, but it is a little bit higher, so you've got to like that progress. And he's good on the second. The Heat trail by six. Hoggich kicks to Botch. Jacks up a three. Out of bounds, Orlando takes possession. And let's take a look now at the numbers for Dwayne Wade. Lately, he's been untouchable. He's been in the zone. You see how his performances match up. Sixth in field goal percentage. And he's in the top 15 in points per game. So he's a guy you have to account for defensively. And Steve, you touched on his outstanding field goal percentage. I mean, he hasn't gotten there just simply by having a hot hand on occasion. I mean, it's also a product of how hard he works to find those good open shots. That's how you make it happen, guys. Ball pressure and then a run out. And those are the kind of plays that will turn that deficit into a lead quickly. So solid defense on the ball. That's the key. Price kicks to Harris. That's in coming off an assist from Price. Price has got his fifth assist in this one. They've been hot here early. Dropping them in left and right. Let's see how long they can keep it going. This is quite a start. That's the way. Tries a three. And that one's good. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Trading punches. That's how you answer. Price outside. He feeds it to Davis. Davis setting the pick for Harris. From deep of Flalo. That's good. And Flalo's got 10. Tell you what, until this defense gets out and defends the three-point line, it's going to be a parade. Yeah, we've already seen three in a row from out there. Wade against the Flalo. Side Butler launches it. And Dwayne Wade with another three. Wade's got his second basket of the night. Boy, has there been any defense played yet in this game? Nope. This game has been all about rapid fire offense early. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. With a break in the action, let's now bring up the 2K leaderboard and look at the league's top scores over the past 10 games. You look at Butler top five score in the league what a player he is Kevin you know the season is 82 games long and anything can happen but I tell you what if he keeps scoring like this the rest of the season is going to look very good for his ball club the Miami Heat comes into this one following a loss to Golden State I thought overall Kevin it was mostly the defensive effort that hurt them just no energy no purpose Steve, I thought they were late on their rotations. They didn't really communicate well, and as a result, they paid for it. And as always, the mid part of the NBA season, quite a grueling part of the schedule. Right now, let's check out how the standings are shaping up in the East. Taking a look at Miami. Season well underway, and they've been solid in third right now. And, of course, there's the Magic, 10 games behind. 
When I look at Orlando, they've not achieved any of even the most modest goals they've set for themselves so far. Now, it's been a tough, tough year, Clark, no question. There was a, a lot of talk from them before the season about you know, proving the doubters wrong. Uh, but at this point, <laughs> the doubters look right. Davis dishes to Vucevic. Just his first attempt. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Great looking bounce pass to set up that play. The Heat throw by four. Wade outside. Dishes it to Dragic. And again, Miami with the triple. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. Orlando's gone three or four on three pointers in the first quarter. Doing well from long range. Price kicks to Harris. There's the three. And again, it's Orlando with the three. Looked like there was a little confusion there as to who was supposed to be guarding him. Boy, one thing I like about Tobias Harris, he can play two positions and he gives you mismatches either way. You know, at the four spot, he can pull other big men out on the perimeter and take advantage of his ball skills, shooting, and quickness. At the three, he can play bully ball against smaller players. I think this young man's got a chance to be an outstanding combo forward in the league. A follow the pass to Davis. Shot clock at six. The rebound by Odin. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense that he missed it. It's Trogic with the drive that doesn't go on the chance to tie. Clark, you mentioned Harris's nice combination of size and skill, able to score inside and, and Steve outside. Pretty good finisher. And, uh, you know, can make a few point shot. It's getting better. It's a nice chance to play after the trade to Orlando last year. And made a, a made good use of that opportunity. And the Heat going with the whole new group on the floor. The Heat trail by four. Outside Dragic. Eight on the wing. He's covered by Lamb. Dragic dishes to Battier. Miami no good on that time either. Lando's gone four to five from three-point land to get things going here in the first. Here's more. And Orlando again with the cover. Here's Butler. Averaging 26 points a game. On the wing, Battier. Battier missing again. Magic leading by six. Turkoglu right side. And Lamb kicks to Turkoglu. He dishes it to Maxiel. And Greg Oden gets the whistle that time. Chris Bosch has checked in for Shane Batty. Two up here in the opening quarter. Max Seal with the screen on Dragic. Down to five on the shot clock. Jason Max Seal with the slam. And now an eight point magic lead. Showing us a little force on that put back there. Well, there was no way he was going to let that chance slip away. No, sir. Now you got to love his positioning as the shot went up. He anticipated that play. Here's Bosch. And too long on the shot. Magic leading by eight. Max Seal with a screen on Dragic. And let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Magic. Guys, they're really passing the ball well here in the first half. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. Max Seal hits them both. Here's Wade. Coming in off a 21-point game, his last outing. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. And he gets it to go. Wade's got his third basket of the night. He's having quite the quarter here, guys. I mean, shooting the ball extremely well. Here's Nicholson. And good coming off the assistant. He does over with. And the magic lead by 10. We've made one basket after another since 
getting this game started. And I wonder if he's the blowout in score. Too early to say that and go there, Steve, but it has been pretty ugly so far. The shot by Wade, no good. Orlando's gone four or five from three-point land to get things going here in the first. For the three. At the live Orlando. Now Drogic. 14 points from him. The last game against Golden State. Out of bounds. Orlando takes possession. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the net. from Bucks. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. Magic out in front, up 10. 2K Sports, back in a moment from the Amway Center. Next Friday, January 10th, the Los Angeles Lakers go up against the Los Angeles Clippers. Make sure to catch it. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And from what we've seen from Orlando, what do you guys see? And they're really keying in on getting as many good shots inside the lane as possible. They're doing a nice job of not just settling for outside looks. Yep, I agree. I mean, they're working it inside and doing it with intention and purpose. They've got each one more. Kyle Quinn out there with Jason Maxillo. And it's Turkaloo, and it's Lamb at the two spot. This is out there for Orlando. The Heat shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Well, how about the numbers for this club? Uh, as a team, 79% from the free throw line this year. And guys, that's really an upgrade over how they shot last season. Not a huge upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. And here is more. The feed to a follow. Back to Moore. But Trey, there's the bucket. Good. Moore's got the lead up to 10 now for the Magic. You know, it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, look at the discrepancy in this, the assist call between these two teams. Allen for three. That's good. Allen's got himself on the board with three there. One of the great shooters in the history of the game. I mean, Ray Allen is just amazing with that deep range. Incredible accuracy. And he can also put the ball in the deck a little bit once or twice, pull up jump shots, get to the foul line. Allen's just one of the most consistent scorers we've had in the game for a long time. And he's rehearsed that motion for so long. It's automatic. I mean, it's something he can do in the sleep. He doesn't even think about the situation or the defender. He eyes his target and lets it fly. Well, Hito Turkoglu is in the final season of his contract, and last season endured a suspension for performance-enhancing substances. And Really never found any kind of rhythm in his season. We'll see if he's able to bounce back this year. Anderson passes to Chalmers. He's looking for McGetty and finds him. And that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. McGetty's got his first points in this one. Moore dishes to a follow. Back to Moore. Anderson with the ball. Here we go with Allen running it up the court. And that one's good by McGetty. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Definitely. I mean, that's what you call early offense. Clark, you mentioned the positive test for Turco. The league now implementing tougher testing measures for the players. Yeah, incorporating blood testing. There's been a feeling that it was a bigger issue in other sports and that NBA players weren't using performance enhancers. I think that's generally the case, but you might as well have a system in place uh, to assure that that is right. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Well, really the heart and soul of this Miami team in a lot of ways is Donis Hazard, born and raised in Miami. He played his entire decade-long career with the Heat and just a tough, hard-working guy and a locker room leader. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolster was saying to his team. 
He's looking for some old-fashioned offense right now. He wants the pick and roll to be the centerpiece of their game plan at that end of the floor. Also, he said that he'd like them to operate quickly on offense, finding and taking shots early in the shot clock. Maybe making those early adjustments will give them time to judge their effectiveness by halftime. We'll soon find out, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. And back to Haslam. He helped lift the Florida Gators program back to Providence. Took them all the way to the NCAA championship game playing at center of all positions. It was really heavy back then in Florida. He really had to lose a, a lot of weight before he was ready to play in the NBA. Went to Europe to play first. He's been the heart and soul of the Heat organization ever since. Second free throw, no good. Well, that one miss shouldn't be too costly because he was able to make it a two-possession lead at least. And it's Harris off the drive. Second shot opportunity rejected by Maggetti. Allen with it. Now guarded by Price. Got it in the Orlando lead has been cut down now to just two on the basket from Ray Allen. Defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. Price kicks to Davis. Inside, out to Price. Offline with his three. Miami's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Maggetti the pass to Haslam. Maggetti dishes to Chalmers. And Haslam kicks to Chalmers. Six to shoot. And it's Ronnie Price with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Ooh, tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happened. Leonard, he's checked in for the heat. Tipped away. And here's Chalmers for three. And again, Miami with the triple. After going scoreless in the first, he's really found a way to turn it on here in the second quarter. Orlando trailing here. Price kicks it to Harris to the middle. He's looking for Price and finds him. Offensive rebound back to Harris. Pass to Price. Harris right side. Harris gets the screen from a follow. That's good from Price. The assist from Tobias Harris and the Magic lead by two. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in the movie field. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. Haslam, the pass to Batty. Unloads from nine. The shot misses. Some solid defense from Harris. More good work on the glass there. It's all said and done. I think rebounding might well tell the story in this Should take things to shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Price against Chalmers. The pass to Allen. No good off the back of the rim. You know, that mid-range jump shot is not his strong suit, even when he gets a good look like that. It's Davis with the drop. And Mario Chalmers gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. A different look for Miami. Butler comes in for Udonis Hess. And Dwayne Wade subbed in for Ray Allen. Price dishes to Vucevic. Tries again, and the layup is good. Vucevic has got five points so far. Very nice pickup of the offensive rebound. And once he gets his hands on it, you know it's going back up and back in. Rogic kicks the butt. I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is the two points, not the dramatic. Oh, come on. Clark, he had to go for it, didn't he? Perhaps. I'm with you, Kevin. You can't fault him for that. I mean, just let him go. Who cares? Price kicks to Vucevic. The 10 footer. And Orlando again with the bucket. From the elbow, and it's Miami with another. 
mid-range jumper becomes a pretty high percentage shot for him when he has that kind of space. Price against Dragic. And that one's good. Price. Price has got his second bucket of the night. The Heat trail by six. The Heat outside. Plays it in without an inch of room around him. You know, he operates so well close to the bucket. There's nothing he likes more than seeing an opening inside. Price kicks to Vucevic. Doubled by Dragic. Vucevic, the pass to Lamb. And it goes through once again. How's it go from Price? Price has got seven points for the court. Lamb has gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Dragic dishes to Wade. Shot is good off the bat rim and in. Wade's got 12. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. Price kicks to Vucevic. Back to Price. The dish to land. Six on the shot clock. And it's off from three-point range. Wade passes to Dragic. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Well, he's very strong inside, particularly as a finisher. So even if you give him a hard foul, hard contact, nothing seems to bother him. And this guy, as a result, is a good scorer. Exactly. That's about the only way to stop him once he's making a run at the hoop. throw attempts have really fallen off here in the second quarter. Not as aggressive. Yeah, if they want to avoid going into the half with this deficit, they need to stop settling for these long jump shots and attack the rim. Well, it was rather on the down low, but a very nice rookie season for 6'9 big man Andrew Nicholson out of St. Bonaventure. He didn't start playing basketball until the 11th grade guy, but you'd never guess it from his well-rounded offensive skill set. Clark, you mentioned the offensive gifts of Andrew Nicholson. Range on his jump shot, array of moves inside. He can pass as an also attacker. Yeah, he's going to be an interesting player. Very creative offensively. He's got a soft touch with that jump hook, and you mentioned the ability to, to shoot from range. And Land drops them both. The Heat trail by six. Dragic dishes to Butler. Outside Butler. Fires from 18. And he nails the jumper. Butler's got eight points. He's done a nice job, a great job, actually, of finding efficient shots here in the second. Shooting percentage always a function of the kinds of shots you get. And he's on a good roll after struggling a bit in the first. Lamb with the ball. Wade picks him up. Offensive rebound. O'Quinn. Baj with some nice deep. Miami's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. Here's Odin. And the basket good. And now just a two-point magic lead. Orlando's gone 2 for 5 from three-point land since the end of the first. Turkoglu kicks to Moore. Shoots from 12. Misses off the right iron. The Heat shooting an offensive execution has been beyond great there. 63% from the floor in this game. Here's Odin. And he misses the go-ahead basket. Well, Orlando shooting with 42% accuracy in the second quarter. Here's Nicholson. Great use of the pick to create room for the jump. Nicholson's got his second bucket of the night. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. Turkoglu kicks to Lamb. And good coming off the assist from Hito Turkoglu. Turkoglu's got four assists now tonight. Well, even with the double team, he had the vision to find the open man. Got it off in time, but it's no good. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Magic lead by seven. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. 
Thank you, Kevin. Coach, what exactly did you do differently in that second quarter? Well, we showed a little bit more toughness, uh, certainly on the defensive end. Uh, and even though they have great shot blocking, we're still able to attack and have some tough misses, but that's our aggressive style. Coach, thank you so much for the time. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Doris. And, folks, the halftime show is coming up next, and then it's on to the third quarter. We'll step aside right now. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Let's get right to it, fans. We got plenty of first-half rivalry action to review. The Magic have been rolling along. They're facing a team with a lot of talent, but haven't backed down. Aaron Aflalo has been locked in so far. We've come to expect performances like this one from him. And midway through, the Heat are still alive. Defensively, very disruptive. They've been effective forcing turnovers. Nice steal so far. Dwayne Wade leads them in scoring. He's got a dozen points, and he's made some key plays in the assist department, too. NBA action just getting started here. Some games coming up a little bit later on tonight. It'll be the Hawks against the Bulls in Chicago. That one an all-Eastern Conference affair. That one tips off at 7 p.m. Eastern. And another game that's coming up, the Suns out in Phoenix will go up against the Bucks. That one starting at 7 o'clock Eastern. And now a look at the other NBA action. Out in Sacramento, it'll be the Kings against the Bobcats. So we got a nice East meeting West battle happening there. Start time, 7 o'clock Eastern. That's it for us here in the studio. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And now the third quarter about to get going. An exceptional performance from a flow. How about his first half? Just easily surpassing his average point total. On pace for a monster game. Too bad he can't score like this every night. And Miami has possession. They trail by seven. On the court for the Heat, Chris Bosh is out there with Jimmy Butler. Then there's Drogic. Then there's Dwayne Wade. And it's Odin in at the five. Well, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. Orlando's gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Price with the ball. Now guarded by Drogic. Here's Davis and Orlando again with the ball. Here's Drogic. Side Bosch. Can't get it to go. So Orlando will take it the other way. Solid job by them on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in rebound. Well, you have to rebound to win, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Price, the pass to a flower. Shot clock at six. Price dishes to Davis. There's the bucket kill. Davis has got eight points. Even with the D lurking, he made it look easy with the soft finger roll. Timeout called the Heat. Coach can't be pleased with their inconsistency on the defensive glass. They've been caught taking pictures out there. They're watching, as opposed to getting in there and securing the arm. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolster was saying to his team. He wants his players to step up the pace. He told them they should be looking to get out and run every chance they get. He also said he wants them going hard to the boards at both ends of the floor, not just the defensive backboards. Probably a good time to make some changes with a good chunk of the second half still to go, Kevin. Thanks again, Doris. Follow fires. That's good in its place with the assist. Price has got his ninth position to game now. Perfect on their first three shots now. That's the way to start the second half. Butler with the ball. Picked up by Harris. And it's Butler with the jam. Boy, taking it hard to the rack for the big throwdown. And give an unofficial assist, Clark, to his teammate for setting the screen that freed him up. Yeah, good call, Kevin. That was really the key to the play. Follow fires. They get the rebound. Vucevic. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. For Orlando, they have gone 6 of 8 from the free throw line tonight. 
What a breakout year for Vucevic. He was given the chance to start for the Magic, and he showed that he belonged in a starting five. It's a really good gamble on a player, and, and the big fellow looks to be an impact player for them uh, for the foreseeable future. Feeds it to Dragic. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Dragic has got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Heat. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And as with any timeout at this point of the game, important to go over the strategies that are working and those that are needed in terms of adjustments. And, of course, the opportunity, guys, to get hydrated with Gatorade before coming back out of the floor. We've seen some good action so far, and there's, there's more of it to come. Yeah, this game has been physical. It's been fast. It's been high-paced. So anytime you're in a situation like this where it's really a hard-fought game, Critical to keep yourself hydrated throughout. And here's Price for three. The Magic again can hit. And for Vucevic in his second season in the league, fourth in voting last season for the most improved player. I couldn't disagree. I would not either, Kevin. And you've got to like his defensive potential. He's seven feet tall and he's got a seven four wingspan, so he can help provide all kind of protection around the rim. And you know, he's got an excellent motor too. He makes the most of his imposing frame. I like what this guy has been and could become. Here's Davis. Here's Vucevic and terrific work on the offensive plays and picks up two. Vucevic has got ten. And his specialty is tracking down those great offensive rebounds that sometimes he can put right back up for an easy deuce. Steve, he is always on the prop. I mean, you got to body him up early. Or he'll stake out that prime real estate for those second shot opportunities. The Heat have missed a few free throws up to this point, shooting 4-7 from the foul line tonight. for Miami. Shane Battier is checked in for Bosch. Maggetti comes in for Jimmy Butler and it's Allen in for Dwayne Wade. Odin hits them both. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes of gone. Price outside. Pass to a fight. Right side Davis. Out to the right wing. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. Now the shooting guards you see listed there have been the ultra-reliable players for the past month. Take a look at their percentages from the field during that time. You look at Buck leading the league in field goal percentage. He always gets good looks. And, of course, Dwayne Wade right ahead of him. Also someone that shoots at such a high percentage. Top five in the league. Algetti against Harris. Odin kicks to Allen. Lock at six. Down low. And up the court from the Magic on the break. Harris with the ball. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for Orlando. So defensively, they've played with high energy level, guys. And all the steals we've seen are really a result of that aggressiveness. Another part of their game that's made a difference tonight is all the second chance points they've been able to down is the Wizard Warriors at three point play chance. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. That's losing basketball. And especially when you can't afford to give up any buckets. That pushes this lead up instead of going the other way. And Miami making a change here. Maxie has checked in. The Magic have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. 7 for 10. Well, this is a kind of a mediocre free throw shooting team. They're sitting there at about 73% as a unit. And this year, they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage they had last season. Magic leading by 6. Knocked away. Price with the ball. He's got eight. Out of bounds. Magic ball as Orlando keeps possession. Oh. 
Orlando, they've gone six or nine from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Six on the shot clock. A follow outside. And it's Miami with the rebound. Allen outside. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second goal. In a tough league like the NBA, here's where Miami sits right now in the league ranking. First in field goal percentage. First in three-point field goal percentage. And they're number two in fewest turnovers a game. I call that squeezing the orange. And that's a team effort, everybody valuing the ball. And the shooting is really what stands out to me. This is a team that, that does such a good job of finding open looks. They're unselfish. They work offensively to create good shots. And when they do that and they're on their game, they're tough to beat. Price against Chalmers. Price the pass to Maxi. Price kicks to Turkaloo. Four on the shot clock. It's up a three. Kept alive. And that one's good by Davis. Davis has got six points in the quarter. Now they are having their way in the paint right now. So many looks right at the rim. Defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's helped them get the ball in close time after time, Steve. Magic leading by six. Davis with a screen on Chalmers. Pass to a flyer. A three. But they will cover it. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. Price outside. That's good. Price has got him. And here is Chalmers. Ten points for him. He kicks to McGetty. And that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. And another three-pointer to their second half total. Yeah, they caught that long-range bug at halftime, and it's been bombs away ever since. On the wing of Flello. Let's go. Nice shot from the wing. Flello's got 23. The Heat trail by seven. You know, one of the things you always hear about Aaron Flello most dedicated professionals in the game. A guy who every summer goes back to his hometown in Los Angeles and works on his game diligently. I and mean, he's the kind of guy that always seems to get better year in and year out. Just looking to grow as a ball player. Here's Chomas, averaging nine points per contest. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Clark going back to a follow you ask his coaches and they're going to tell you about his work ethic and, and Steve about his leadership. Yeah, and that really goes all the way back to high school and then of course at college at UCLA. Guy who wasn't the star player right away but at each level chipped away at it continued to work and develop into the player he's become. And the first one drops. Really an extraordinary game for Chalmers. He has 11 points and one steal. Boy, he's been a big contributor in this one. Well, this isn't something they're going to see consistently from him, uh, but they are enjoying his performance today. And so Chalmers nails both of them. Orlando with the ball. They've led by as much as 10. Price dishes to land. Now Turkaloo still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. It's good. Feeds it to Jones. Back to Allen. Five to shoot. From outside the arc. Great tee that time from Lamb. Well, they've been outstanding on the board, and it's a big reason why they've got a lead. Doing the dirty work down low. Yeah, and fuck, you know, rebounding's a team effort. Everybody's boxing out. Everyone is accountable. Job collectively. Those defenders look like they're out of gas. I mean, they're getting pushed around on the low block. Well, their energy is lacking. And they've got to start playing harder and battle down in the paint. Magic leading by nine. <laughs> Left side, Price dishes at the land. Off target from three point range. 
clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. Allen gets to Jones. Fires the three. Here's Haslam, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. They're not as aggressive from the outside here, but maybe they should think about stretching the defense a little bit, like they did in the first half. I mean, stretching the defense makes it easier to score inside, too. Turkle inside the line. Rebounded by Battier. Two for one chance here. Yeah, let's see if they use the clock to their advantage. Allen passes to Chalmers. He dishes it to Battier. Back to Chalmers. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Battier kicks to Hazard. Plays it up and banks it in. Now just a five-point magic lead. 24 seconds left here in the third quarter. Battier against Turkoglu. Now the feed to Lamb. It's stolen by Allen. And now it's Allen. Run it. He can go all the way. Things are really tightening up now, guys. Their offense has become unstoppable. Not sure where it was before, but better late than never. From deep, Turkoglu. And released it in time, but it's off the mark. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game, and both teams putting up points in a hurry. Orlando out in front. They're up by three. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. Friday, January 10th, the Miami Heat go up against the Brooklyn Nets live from Brooklyn. Don't miss it. And our assist to the game here on replay presented by State Farm. And this wasn't his only assist, folks. Nine assists on the night over the course of the game from Price. Kevin, it's been one great pass after another for him. Just a huge amount of scoring for that team's offense generated by his court vision. And Orlando has possession. It's a three-point game. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action. Fueled up and ready to go. So on the floor for Orlando. Davis at the four and Vucevic at the five. Price is out there at the front. And it's Harris at the three. The small forward. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll shoot two right here. A real nice quarter for Glenn Davis. He's got 10 points and one assist. First one falls for him. You know, it's been a bad day for them at the line today as a whole, and far too often, that's the case for this team. And both free throws good for Davis. Here's Wade. Wade, right side. Odin kicks to Wade. And stolen by a follow. And up the court come the Magic on the break. And Odin with the block. And he gets it to go. The lead they built here, guys, is in large part due to what they've done on the board. Absolutely. I mean, they have a plus 10 advantage in rebounds. And they've been in total control of the backboard. Three-pointer. Up it goes, and the Magic lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Butler. Oh, he's clearly feeling it, Clark, coming off that fantastic game last time out. Price off the pick from a follow. Price dishes to Harris. Hope loose and stolen by Butler. Here's Clarkett, and he dunks it down. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. On its way from a follow for two, and he overshot that one, missing. You're not doing your team any good forcing a shot like that one. No, I agree. He's got to know better than that. 
Here's Bosch. Here's Butler. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Some really terrific numbers for Butler. 13 points. He's come up with a couple of nice steals today, too. Well, he's been playing a very energetic brand of defense, Clark. you got to love it. One could tie it up. So he hits one of two from the strike. Jimmy Butler was the last pick of the first round back in 2011 by the Bulls. And last season, I tell you what, he really solidified his place in the rotation, guys. He's still developing his outside shot, but he brings an awful lot to light to the table. And for Jimmy Butler, what a story. Abandoned as a child, bounced around from home to home. One coach would take him in, another family would take him in. It was, uh, it was a very tough upbringing down in the Houston area. He overcame tremendous odds. And to be where he is today with the great attitude after a short time at Marquette he speaks volumes of his character. Well, it sure shows in his play, doesn't it? I mean, just the, the way he hustles and draws fouls, rebounds, defends. He can guard multiple positions out there. You just love his overall game and his toughness and what he brings to this team. Six to shoot. Harris passes to a front. It is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got three assists tonight. What a display of offense we've seen today, and it's only getting better. Well, both defenses have been on their heels all day, and it's begun to take its toll. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolster was saying to his team. He is not happy with their perimeter defense, saying, guys, way too many open shots for them beyond the three-point line. We've got to press up closer and try to crowd them off the arc. Guys, we'll see if they got the message. And Butler, here we go. And there's the foul. It's on Aaron O'Flow. That's his third foul of the game. Tough call there and a tough break for the defense. But you know, I think you could still see him kind of sliding in there. I don't have a problem with the call. Here's Wade, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Watch basket there to shave points off this lead. And I'll tell you what, the later we get into this game, the more they need him attacking the basket. And it's Drogic with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Price outside. Kicks to Davis. Ball's not loose. Here we go. One on one. And it's Butler with the jam. Boy, the kind of moment you love to see. Excellent defense leading to a dunk at the other end. Clark, you got to marvel at the transition game when they've got it clicking. It's really explosive. High octane for sure. Oof. Yeah, turning defensive pressure into offensive opportunities. That's what it's all about. Price kicks to Harris. Here's Davis. Price dishes to Vucevic. Wade with the defensive effort. Now he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. Bosch passes to Wade. No good on the triple. Orlando, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter. So they are two of six. Here's Davis. Basket is good. The assist for Harris. 14 points for Davis. Oh, it's been a tail of two halves, hasn't it, guys? After a terrible first half, he's really picking it up. Wade outside. Orlando grabs the miss. Vucevic has got rebound number eight now on the night. Afralo misses to Davis. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. And now a three-point Orlando lead. For Miami, they've gone five of eight shooting as they've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Pass to Bunch. That's it five from 18. He flings that one off the back iron and down it falls. That's a big basket there. You can expect him to be very involved and aggressive the rest of the way. Out to the right wing. 
Here's Harris. And the layup's good off the ball. And the Magic lead by three. Ryan is gone. One of three from outside the arc since the reached the fourth quarter. The pass to Butler. A shot. Here's Odin. Makes it off the glass. And at this stage of the game, that offensive rebound and putback is enormous. I mean, that feels like a four-point swing. Price outside. It is now to a flounder. Price against Dragic. There's a screen. Just four to shoot. The Magic need to get a shot off here. And it's hauled in by the Heat. Odin's got eight rebounds in this game. It's Dragic with the drive. Butler kicks the wing. Feeds it to Odin. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. And Nikola Vucevic is going to pick up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. On defense, Orlando. They've led by as many as 11 points. Like at six. Here's Butler. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Butler's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Heat. He has really put his foot on the pedal this quarter, doing a tremendous job leading their offense. Price kicks to Harris. Passes it to Davis. Connects on the open chip. Davis has got the game tied up here for Orlando. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. This shooting has been off the chart. Wade against the flower. A slam dunk by Wade. Man, he got fancy with that one, didn't he? Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Man, I like that. I mean, some coaches might want to see just a, a sure-handed lay-in, but I say put as much as you can on the finish and get your teammates going. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Miami. Anytime they've had a chance to attack the lane, they've done so. The penetration has been impressive. They've really been on fire from beyond the arc tonight, too. I mean, a lot of their points have come from out there. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They have to like what we're seeing from Butler. He's on fire. And they needed to put their heads together to figure out how to get the ball out of his hand. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Yes, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Jacques Vaughn said to the team. He said, we're going to make things much easier on ourselves if we can establish a better interior game. And it starts with opening gaps in the defense and making sharp feeds into the post. It's pretty late in the game to be altering the game plan, but they're going to come out with a different look here, guys. Back to you. Thanks a lot, Doris. And it's Harris off the drive. Rebound by Butler. Well, he leading by three. Wade outside. Pass to Butler from deep. And it's Price with the rebound. Price has got three rebounds now in this one. He kicks to a flower. Back to Price. He feeds it to a flower. Harris right side. They find Jay on the way. The offensive rebound. That's a shot he's got to hit. And you don't get too many better looks. That is a quick bucket. Pretty good in transition. That's right. That's exactly right. He loves when he gets the chance to get out and run. That's when he's at his best. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Yeah, they were getting windy. Good call here to give them a quick breather. Gets the screen from Vucic, and it's blocked by Bosch. I don't know if it's just me, but he's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. Oh, look out! Oh, 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 oh. 
His finishes can be dazzling, especially Clark at his side. Well, you look at a guy who doesn't have the height of some other big-time dunkers, and it always looks better, and he certainly makes up for the lack of height with that athleticism. Yeah, his, his leaping ability is just off the charts. Harris, out the run. No good from Price. He doesn't really scare a defense at all. You've seen him miss quite a few just like those. Wade passes to Dragic. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. The Magic trail by seven. This is it to Price. And there's the feed to Harris. Six on the shot clock. 16 feet away. Here's Davis. The shot no good. Wade with the defensive effort. Miami's gone a disappointing two or six on three-point attempts here in the fourth. It's Trogic with the drive. He dishes it to Wade. Kicks the bunch. Fires from the wing. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. And it's a nine-point heat lead. And that puts a cherry on top, so to speak. It's been a phenomenal showing for them. All over but the line. The defenders have to be aware. They cannot allow him that position before he catches the ball. You're exactly right, Steve. That is his domain. And that one's good. Well, if it wasn't already out of reach, it is now, thanks to this spurt. Just keep on firing, man. No reason to slow down now. Now a timeout called by Orlando. They trail by nine. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. A different look for Miami. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Moore. No good on the triple. Here's Miami now. They're on an 18 to 6 run. Oh, that's what And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. 17 seconds on the shot clock. 17. Allen dishes to Chalmers. Back to Allen. Maggetti outside. Rushes in for a double-digit lead. Boy, you relish these sorts of road games where you come in and you get the job done. In a long schedule with the kinds of pressure of travel and tough opponents throughout the season, it's always good when you play a game like they have here. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dream-like games for a coach. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Chris, tell us a little bit about the philosophy behind your game and how this team works so well together. Well, I mean, it's just energy and uh, belief. It's the belief system. You know, I, we all work hard. Um, I work extremely hard. And, and, you know, when I go out there and just play and, and don't think about it and play with energy, you know, good things happen. Chris, congratulations. Kevin, over to you. Thank you, Doris. Great interview once again. For Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Thanks for joining us. Now it's time for the Jordan Player of the Game. <laughs>